Good morning, Fern Court family, teachers here on the Zoom platform, and our parents and students and well wishers of Fern Court joining us live on our YouTube channel. This is also another special morning. We have to continue to give God thanks and praise as, as a group, as a country. We have to be grateful that for those who are alive, we still have to continue to give God thanks and praise. And as a school, we'll continue to put God first as we do all activities in his name. You know, as usual, we start with some music. for us and we're special guest presenters already here and ready to start but you know we have to play some music so here we go the people that will love jesus and know say put your hand over your head now put your hand over your head over your head and somebody somebody just say cover me 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 again Cover me, 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 cover me,
Who to God me testify? Do me at the work of God and the boss. My whole life, he and us. Take me from the mud and put me in a A class. A class. No, me at the boss. You rearrange me life, I should be dead. Who Lord? He's all over me. And he's keeping me alive. I'm said Jesus. He's keeping me alive. Say, my Jesus. All right, so we're having some difficulties this morning. Not sure what is happening, but we're still going to continue. A student of some of the greatest minds to grace the earth, Dr. Miles Monroe, Drs. Peter and Patricia Morgan, and Dr. Dave Burrows. Rundle Allen, AKA Rundle Positive, man of purpose, the mirror boss, is not only one of Jamaica's most sought after inspirational recording artists, but an avid speaker, kingdom teacher, profile activator, youth advocate, mentor, and philanthropist. His ability to use music to influence the next generation has recently landed him his own TV show, Mirror Purpose Experience on Television Jamaica, the nation's most established media house. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in education, awarded from the Michael University and a diploma of primary education acquired at Case. He's married to a beautiful wife, Latoya, and they parent three gorgeous daughters, Janari, Leanne, and Ray. He has a lot of accomplishments, but in interest of time, I will just highlight three of them this morning. He has shared the stage with many of the world's greatest performers, including Pastor Donnie McClurkin, Tasha Coombs, Leonard, Kirk Franklin, Papa Sun, Travis Green, Sinat, Phil Thompson, Kevin Downswell, Cheryl Franklin, German Edwards, and Israel Horton, performing to audience of 150,000 patrons at Jamaica Fund in the Sun and an annual fireworks show on the Kingston waterfront. Rondell has also been a major impact on the reggae culture of Jamaica, performing on the world major ranking reggae shows such as Rebel Salute and Port and Jerk Festival. He has performed across the Caribbean, United States, and the UK. In March 2020, Rondell and his team were called upon by the Ministry of Education, Youth, and Information to create a response that would help students adjust their mindset to dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. A national campaign was born. His most recent initiative is the formulation of the National Mentorship Program, which he has co-founded with his wife, and their purpose partners to cater to the holistic needs of 13 to 19 year old teens. And this morning, Rondell Positive is here with us to share the word with us. So it's my privilege and honor to invite the man himself, Rondell Positive. Mute. Good morning to you all. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm honored to be sharing with you guys this morning. Uh, I see you have some people in the waiting room. I'm honored to be sharing with you this morning um, with the Ferncourt Fern High School staff, students, staff, students, um, parents. I'm totally honored. I do not take a minute of this time for granted. This time was actually written um, before time existed. Each individual on this call who, who will hear my voice 
um, this was written and, and orchestrated before your mother met your father, before their grand, your grandparents even met, before the foundation, foundations of the world. It was written that on the 20th of September, 2021, in the middle of what is called a pandemic to man on earth, not a surprise to where I come from, but it was written that we would meet this time and that some people's lives, the people on this call, their lives will be transformed forever, eternal, that, that you, will, you will meet upon the true you, the true you, the real you. And that's what this call is about. I am, I, as I say, I'm delighted and I am grateful for the call, sir, because it is in a time where, where there's a generation that needs to hear the truth about themselves and need to be activated and shifted into the real them. So without further ado, I have 15 minutes and I'm going to see how, how well I can do in 15 minutes to ensure that you are, you are totally impacted by not me, but the kingdom that I represent, the king who is my father. Proverbs 19.21 is my favorite scripture in the Bible. It says, many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is God's purpose that will prevail. Let me repeat that. Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is God's purpose that will prevail. Can I say that one more time? Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is God's purpose that will prevail. So it suggests to me that one plan is not as important as purpose. It suggests to me that purpose is more important than plan. And it also suggests to me that before there could even be a plan, there was purpose. So purpose precedes plan, right? Purpose precedes plan. So all we are planning our lives, there is something that was born in us that is more important than every plan that we can ever come up with. I mean, what am I saying? I'm saying, I'm talking about the governments of the world. Every plan of the governments of the world need to actually recognize that purpose supersedes plans. Every human being, including you on this call, need to recognize that God placed a purpose in you that will supersede every one of your plan. Now, if you are going to be successful in being the person that you were born and created to be, there are three things that you need to, you need to know. Three things. I will run through them quick, quickly. The first thing is that you need to discover God. Young people, listen to me. Listen to me. The world that you live in is doing everything for you not to discover God. If it is that everything is trying to keep you from discovering God, it means that you need to discover God. And it, if, if it is that everything is trying to keep you from discovering God, it means that God is someone that you need to discover. Because when people, you ever hear they say, if you want to, if you want to control a, a black man, give him a book. Or if you write it in a book, write whatever you want in a book, because they say what? If you hide the information in a book, they say that men won't go seek after it. Why? And look at it. God said, this is the reason why the people perish. A lack of knowledge. So if they are keeping you from discovering God, if they are trying to keep you from God, it means that you need to discover God. What am I saying? Discover God. Discover God in everything that you are doing. Because purpose God's purpose supersedes everything else. So if you discover God, you will, over time, discover why you exist. That is, what, that is the purpose question. The question of why am I here? Why? Um, what am I saying? I'm saying 
discover God um, before your education. Dis discover God before you, you think relationship. I'm talking to the teachers, I'm talking to parents. Discover God. Why? Because he made us and every manufacturer who makes a product decides what the product is supposed to do before the product is, this is, is designed and created. Every manufacturer, the shoes that the teacher is wearing, it was created because people were walking barefooted and somebody recognized that we need to cover these feet. And so if you look, shoes were created in a specific way. The left foot does not work on the right foot. The left foot does not work on the right foot. And therefore, in the cre before creating it, the concept came and that man, the shoemaker, would design it so that it matches the foot. What I'm saying, you were designed in the image and likeness of God. Examine that. If you were designed in the image and likeness of God, it means that you were created to function in the image and likeness of God, how God operates. So in the beginning, listen to it. In the beginning, and the next word is God. What are you beginning? This is the beginning of a new school year. In the beginning, God. Discover God because God, if you put God at the beginning of everything that you do, it must, it must, listen to me, I say, it must, it must succeed. So number one, discover God. Why? Because God is the author. Is the author of your life. I can prove it in so many ways. One part of the book says this. It says, I am God and I never change. I created, I determine your end from the beginning. What he's saying is, I went and created your end and then I reverse and go to the start. Let me prove it that that, that is exactly how it works. Anybody who is building a house, there are teachers here and maybe some parents who build a house. If you are building a house, you will have to get what is called a plan and of the completed house. So you carry the finished house and you go to the parish council with the finished house. I mean, every light socket, everything has to be there. And then the, the parish council passes that plan. And after the parish council passes that plan, the parish council said to you, no, it is okay for you to go and dig the excavation, do the excavation and lay the foundation. What am I saying? You completed the house before you started it. That is the principle of God. He says, young man, young lady, why you are here today is because I completed you before I started you. I knew that in 2021 and 2020, in the middle of what is called a pandemic, over 100 years, they haven't seen anything like this. But he says, your generation must be alive in this time so that you can be educated. What do you mean, Rondell? But we are struggling. We're struggling with online learning. Hello, if this happened in 1995, you would know Rondell because I never even have phone, not even landline phone, much less internet. But this time was created because you are alive in this time. Teachers, you are alive in this time to ensure that when history is written about this season, when history is written about this season, they will say somebody named Paul Miller, somebody named Achilia Cousins, somebody named Kay Marsh, somebody named Jordan Garvey, somebody named Mr. Sheldon Thomas, somebody named Leslie Stennett did such and such. You see, people, remember this, history never remembers people for what they didn't do. History always remembers what people do. And so the first thing that you need to discover is discover God. With this, discover God. The next thing you need to discover is yourself. 
the next thing you need to discover is yourself. You see, the problem that the world has is that the world has the world is filled with people who are trying to be other people. So in every song, every popular song that come out, that 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 we, we, we tell the youths that them need to be, be dressing in Gucci and Moschino, Versace, you know, all of those names are people. All of those names are people who discover themselves. And because they discover themselves, the world knows them. Gucci discovered that he is a designer and he can design clothes and design all manner of things. And guess what? He, because of his designing, it placed a demand on the product. And now the world will pay any amount of money for Gucci and want to be wearing Gucci. What I'm saying to you young people this morning is you need to discover yourself. Let me show you something. There's a song, Sinash sings a song that says, I know who I am. Listen to what she says. I am walking in power. I am walking in victory. I live a life of favor. Why? Because I know who I am. What that is saying is, you know, if you don't discover yourself automatically, you cannot walk in power. Automatically, you're, if you continue to want to be Gucci, if you continue to, to be the person who wants to grow up to just floss it and endorse it, young people, listen to me and listen to me good. This man that you're looking at, when I was going to high school, them used to call me Ron Hell. Let me say it again. Them used to call me Ron Hell. So none of you can tell me nothing about it. But I come to tell you that is, it is an illusion. They, the systems don't want you to discover who you are. You know why? Because you, have, you are made of God material. You have, you have the ability to create things. You, you, you have the ability to think thoughts that will transform the world and nations and your generation. So if they can bombard you, and I'm going to call names, if they can bom bombard you with Vibes Cartel, how many Vibes Cartel do you know? One. How many Alkaline you know? One. When you see a Vibes Cartel or an Alkaline, well, Vibes Cartel are prison, so you're not going to see that. But when you see an Alkaline on, on the road, or you see, you see the one where them call intense now, come in know what going on, you know. When you see them, you see one of them, that the, that the system lifts up and then you see 500 men walking behind them and all the 500 men get is a hundred or two hundred dollar or a thousand dollar and then make sure so them up them the 500 have the bag of weed what they're saying is this 500 must never discover This 500 must walk in the illusion. I come to tell you this morning, Ferncourt High School, young people, you have to discover God first and then discover yourself. After you discover yourself, after discovering God, what you will discover, you will discover the truth about your gift. Let me tell you something. When Randall Positive discovered who Randall, who them used to call Ron Hell, truly is. I, I saw the world open up in front of me. Listen to me, young people. Nobody not telling you them secret yet. They, may I tell you this? Uno DJ them now go tell you them secret yet. When I discovered who was living in the house with my mother and father, can I just say it? You don't know who living in the house. Your mother don't know who living in the house. Michael Jackson's parents, they found out her um, early who was living in the house by the time he was five. My parents never knew who was living in the house. Neither did I until I was 25. 
What I'm saying is I want to take this opportunity to say to you young people, if you can discover God and if you can discover yourself, you are automatically going to discover your gift. And listen to me. I learned it. It says, Proverbs 16, verse 18, one more of my favorites. It says, it is a man's gift that will make room for him and bring him before great men. Ha! What do you say, Randell? When I discovered who Randell Positive is, I realized that the prime ministers of my country started to send me invitation to come and sing at their events. I realized that the corporate entities of my country, what did you say? Yes, I realized that when my wife and I and my, and, and my daughter are traveling overseas, we never had to pay for the, for the ticket because some people wanted to, and wanted to um, experience the gift. They wanted to experience what I have discovered. And so they were willing, a matter of fact, I'm about, I just got a call two days ago. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to a conference in the US and I'm not paying a dollar to go. Uh, ticket, ticket for myself, I'm a road manager, purchased. Promoters purchased. What am I saying, young people? I'm saying, if you will take the time in school, ensure that you learn, yes, but seek to discover. Discover God. Discover yourself and discover your giftings. When you discover those giftings, what you need to do is, I would say, find the gift and then refine the gift. Write it down. Find your gift and then refine your gift. Talking to the teachers too. Find your gift and then refine your gift. One more time. Find your gift and then refine your gift. Last thing I will say to you is this. No one who is born on earth is intrinsically exceptional than any other person. Let me break that down. What I'm saying is no one who is born on earth was born with more intrinsically made in them. None. Every single human being was created with the same kind of God ability. God says, I am creating you in my own image and my own likeness. What will shift individuals is culture and their experiences when they are being brought up. What I'm saying is, young people, they told, I hear them telling a lot of young people in Jamaica that them born in garrison and them grew up in garrison. That is a lie. You know what is a garrison? A garrison is a place where an army, a soldier, a, a, a group of soldiers are, create, are, are together, are, are like a barracks to protect, to protect a city. Who no not come from no garrison? That is a lie, what them teach you know, and over time you know, accept it and start calling yourself garrison. Who no not come from no garrison? Lie that. Go and use a dictionary and find out what is a garrison. What am I saying? Many are the plans of a man's heart. But God created a purpose. And quickly, to find purpose, you have to find God. Because the purpose of a thing, write it down. The purpose of a thing is in the manufacturer of that thing. That is why you wouldn't take a Toyota car teacher that you buy a brand new Toyota car and you wouldn't take it to Nissan to get it fixed because Nissan never make it. That is why you wouldn't buy a Benz or, or you wouldn't have, you carry an Apple phone to Samsung. Why? Because the manufacturer of a thing has the, all the information about that thing. My question to Ferncourt High School students, teachers and, and, and parents, who is the person who manufactured you? Where did you come from? When 600 million sperm cells left your father, rushing towards your mother's one egg, or if it split and became two eggs and you're a twin, when that 600 million sperms were rushing towards the egg, 
who selected the one that overpowered 599,999,999 so that you are present here? I end it this way. You were selected out of that 600 million. You who are looking on this thing now, you were selected. And not only that, you were selected to be born in Jamaica. See it here? You want to know your purpose? Before God and all mankind. And the next word is I. The, the next word is Mr. Sheldon Thomas alone. It is J.C. alone, Orion Douglas alone, Winston Seymour alone, and Trisha Francis alone, Trudy and Williams alone. I pledge, and let's rush to the end for time's sake, so that Jamaica may. Here are the steps. Here are the steps for in court. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a 43-year-old man. I'm not foolish. I've been to several, I've been all over the place. But I've come to discover that if you are going to figure out how the thing works, you must connect with what was written about the thing before it was created. That's why you check the phone manual. Here we go. So that Jamaica may. Step one, under God. That is step one, under God. Step two, increase in beauty. You and I have to increase in beauty. Step three, Increase in beauty. Step three, fellowship. That is the problem that we are facing right now. Man cannot live with, people cannot live with people and so they're killing each other. But we have to increase in beauty. We have to increase in fellowship. Then we can increase in prosperity and play our part in advancing the welfare. Not of Jamaica. Listen to me now, friend court. Not of Jamaica. I've given you the answers. Not of Jamaica but of the whole human race. You were created to fulfill that purpose. Many are the plans of your heart, but it is God's purpose. Why? That will prevail. I want to thank you. My name is Rondell Positive. I want to thank you guys for the opportunity. I want to speak to the teachers. If you want your kids, your children who are struggling in this time to be transformed and their lives to be impactful, I am inviting you to connect with us on what is called National Mentorship Program. We started it in April, and we have school students from all over Jamaica who are investing on a Friday night from 7 o'clock to 8.30. They are investing their lives and their time. And we have some teachers from the different schools who are connecting and, car and, and carrying the students who are struggling and we, and we are seeing transformation in these youths, right? So it is 7.30 on Friday. If you follow my Instagram page, you will, you will see information as to how to get the Zoom. The Zoom link, we will send a Zoom link to you, Mr. Thomas, that you'll be able to send out, sir. And we invite your students and your teachers and your parents to connect with us. Once again, thank you guys for having me. Have a great week. And remember, remember what you need to discover this week. Discover, seek to discover God. Seek to discover yourself and seek to discover your gifting. Then refine them. Have a great week. Thank you, Mr. Rundle Positive for sharing the word with us this morning. You remind us that purpose is more important than a plan. And God placed a purpose in all of us. And there are three things you reminded us that we must discover God first, then we discover ourselves, and then we discover the truth about our gift. Thank you for reminding us and sharing the word with us this morning. I'm not sure if you can lead us in prayer. No, I, I'm, I'm honored to do so, sir. Bless you. Thank you. So let us pray. Father, we honor you and, and bless your name and declare that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I declare over Fern Court High School this morning that you will bestow upon them the grace to encounter purpose, the grace to encounter your designed purpose for them. For many are the plans 
of each individual's heart, but it is your purpose that will stand. You declare in Isaiah 46 and verse 10, you say that your purpose, you say you have, you have ordained it and it shall stand. And so we declare over them the grace, the grace for them to encounter purpose. We declare that the grace for them to encounter and discover you, that you will release, oh God, open the eyes of these young people, the teachers, the entire staff, as, as, as you seek to draw them into purpose, open their eyes that they can, uh, can see, have, help them to have encounters with you during their day, during their night, whatever time that they will have encounter to discover you as God. I pray that you will also give them the grace to discover themselves to discover themselves. Lord, you have made each individual in your image and likeness. And finally, I pray that you will help them to discover the gifting, the purpose, that, that which you instill in them, that they are to serve to the world. For you said the greatest amongst them are those who serve themselves to the world. Lord, I pray that you will release grace upon them to discover their divine purpose and that they will be able to refine that purpose and impact nations. Bless them, we pray, abundantly. Grant speed unto to them. Cover the teachers and the parents. Yeah, cover them, oh God, under your blood and release truth. Release your truth in them and to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you for that prayer, brother. As we continue to live out our purpose on this earth. Right. Uh, students on the YouTube platform, parents and our teachers here on Zoom. It was a good morning indeed. And we are ready now to transition into our classes, which already started. So join me again on Friday, where we do it all over again for you when we have another presenter who will share the word with us. Remember tomorrow is International Peace Day. At 2.30, you will join us on Zoom for a special activity in honor of International Peace Day. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And I see you again on Friday.